My final guest tonight is an absolutely fantastic comedian. Joe Wilkinson is a comedian, actor and writer. Beginning his career as a stand-up, he became a constant fixture on our TV screens starring in Him and Her, Netflix's Sex Education and Afterlife. What's your name? Pat. Postman Pat? Yeah. Put it through the door. Whilst also providing some of the funniest and most bizarre moments on TV. Fuck off. <laughs> and now he's bringing us the second series of his own comedy, The Cockfields. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the wonderful Joe Wilkinson! <laughs> Hello, mate. Absolutely <laughs> lovely to see you. I normally see you in Brighton. I know, how are you doing? I'm good. This is weird, isn't it? But it is, isn't it? But I find whenever you and me meet, it's kind of odd. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, I remember... Oh, I see, I showered at you, didn't I, the other day? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. Well, yeah. You look terrified. Well... <laughs> you did that thing where you were, like, going, I was definitely a nutter, cos you didn't react for about the seventh or eighth <laughs> time I showered. Yeah. And I thought, am I going to keep going? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but the, the one thing that I know about you is you will commit. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. And you yeah. did, you were like, Russ, yeah. Russ. Yeah, I was going to U-turn and chase you. <laughs> 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 but it's, it's so nice to kind of have a chat because we kind of go way back. Yeah, to, yeah, yeah. We used to do gigs together. Yeah, I used to, um, I used to support you on tour, didn't I? That was I? wonderful. Why the fuck did you let me do that? <laughs> <laughs> because you were hilarious. And, and as I said at a gig, not only are you very funny, but you're also a pretty decent footballer. Shut up. <laughs> 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 and, and what's funny about that, I described this to Joe at a gig, and, you know, obviously you're a very funny man. That gig didn't go great. No, no, no. I was transfixed, cos I, I, I remember how I opened, cos I, I, I sort of walked... Cos you, you introduced me, and I just went... <sighs> <laughs> and they were like, what's he doing? And then, I was, and then I just went, sorry, I just... That means a hell of a lot to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get on with it. <laughs> but, but it was so funny, like, because we all now, we know Joe, so we knew that, that that was... But the crowd then were like, what the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But get was... Russell on, please. Yeah. But, but that was kind of one of the reasons why I wanted you desperately to come on the show, because when, when Sean Locke passed away mm. um, earlier this year, the whole nation watched clips of him, it felt like. It was like this week-long mm. memorial to his genius. And in so many of these clips, you were there. And it's almost like if Sean was the nation's uncle, you're like the nation's peculiar brother. <laughs> <laughs> what was that like working so closely with it? Yeah, it was a it was a real honour. And Nick Helm summed it up. It was like if you if you made no one else laugh in the room but Sean laughed. That was it. Yeah. There's not a lot you can say, is it? Other than I guess you and him sort of together provided the nation with so many great moments. Yeah, it was tough, it was really tough, but, uh, you yeah. know. Um, so you've got series two of your sitcom, you wrote it, didn't you, The Cockfield? Yes, with David Earl, yes. And what's, yes. for anyone who hasn't seen it, what's it about? It's about a guy taking his girlfriend back to spend the week uh, with his family, basically, and the stresses that come with that, because we all know how difficult our families are. <laughs> Uh, so I'm having PTSD just thinking about last Easter. Um, so is the sitcom kind of based on, on real life? Or? Yeah, all, all the characters are based on a, um, either someone from my family or David's family. We should show a clip from the show. Um, can you explain a little bit about it? Yeah, the clip is uh, about um, my mum's friend who likes to uh, <laughs> fart into a tissue rather than <laughs> just into the air. Yeah, well, let's have a look at <laughs> Sue's friend, Lynn, just finds it more comfortable farting into a tissue. Lynn does what? She guffs into your tissue. Yes, all right. Oh, my God, that's horrible. Oh, this is why I didn't want to tell you. But then she puts them back in the drawer. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Esther. You don't need to be hearing this on your holiday. I... Hold on. Why are you letting Lynn do this? Because she's my friend. And I want her to feel comfortable whenever she's in my home. So can we now just drop it? Oh, sounds like Lynn already has. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
Where does an idea like that come from? It's a really lovely thing to kind of... Like, we do make fun of our family, but it's all from real love. Like, yeah. it, the, the, the underlying thing of the sitcom is, like, your family do your head in, but they're not there forever. And yeah. that's the battle we all have and stuff. So we're writing about what we know, and there's stuff all the time where we're kind of going, no one's going to... No one's going to sort of relate to that. And yeah. there was one particular bit which was, which was genuinely from David's family, not mine. And, uh, honestly, and uh, <laughs> one of the members of his family had a bread knife in a jar by the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> I was like... Why? <laughs> he explained, I'm sure you can find it out. I was like, no one does that. The amount of people have said, yeah, yeah, my auntie chops up her shit. <laughs> and you're like, OK. OK. The world is weird. <laughs> Yeah, some people, I'm, I'll explain to you. Some people do large. Uh, yeah, but I'm do. trying to think logistically. What my my, <laughs> my thought? But are they um, are they sort of like that? <laughs> no, not on the way down. Yeah, but that's what I think. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, but that's what I'm thinking. Like a charcuterie. <laughs> <laughs> but that was my my thought. I was like, oh, what oh, what process do they I go? I will get the blade out. <laughs> you know what I, mean? yeah. I think if your legs go straight. <laughs> <laughs> now. One of the characters is your stepbrother, I believe. Yeah. He's obsessed with um, collecting selfies. Yeah, the, the, ca the character is based on someone and, and, you know, likes getting selfies. And um, the worst, the, wor I was <laughs> the worst that happened to me is I, uh, I don't know, I sound like I'm showing off Russell, but I developed piles a few years ago. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, I went to the doctor and I was told to lie on my side. And uh, he put his finger up my ass. Yeah. And that's the first time that had happened to yeah, me. Yeah, it's... And uh, I felt quite hollow. <laughs> it's a very vulnerable moment. Yeah, isn't it's it? a real low... It's a low point. And they're, it feels and... like they're in there for ages. It's yeah, like, yeah. It's like they're trying to get the pound from the bottom of the bag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I started watching iPlayer at the game. Yeah. And, and uh, so I pulled me trousers up and sort of left. And I was, re I was really low. <laughs> and uh, a couple of fellas had waited for me outside and said, <laughs> said, oh, could we get a selfie? <laughs> so I remember two fellas with their arms around me and the look on my face must have been... <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, mate. I just, yeah, so then... All sorted? Uh, they never really go away. <laughs> um, now, I thought what we'd do as a special treat. I've got a little present for you. Oh, God. Well, it's always nice. Oh, OK. Um, Jesus Christ, doesn't look nice. <laughs> I found this um, <laughs> in a bin in LA. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> it's actually a little trunk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Pretty decent. <piece. laughs> <laughs> Jesus, you've uh, you've captured. God, you've. It's all right, isn't it? Yeah, it's really. Can you love it? Can you read out what it says? It says a uh, pretty decent footballer, which is the actual phrase you Get brought that. me up to. Yeah, you remembered. And you look like a lovely gold estate agent. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely brilliant, ladies and gentlemen. If you can check out Cockfields, it's on UK Gold. Yeah, uh, on the eighth of November. Give it a spin. It's absolutely brilliant. Ladies and gentlemen, the fantastic Joe Wilkinson! <laughs>